Okay, welcome everyone to part five. And I want to talk about this further here. And I'm going to kind of summarize what I just said. Um, what we're looking at is the Hammurabi Stella. And what we are seeing here is the law code being given by Marduk, who is representing both Shemesh and his father, Inki, and who we'll talk about in some detail. So the ruler, Hammurabi, is depicted as receiving the laws from Marduk acting as Shemesh. Now, I know this is very com confusing, but you would have to directly go to the Sumerian tablet or historical information that recounts this exact event, and you'll see what I'm saying. So we are seeing the law code being given as Shemesh, which Marduk is symbolizing himself acting as, but he is further symbolizing himself in ruling in the stead of his father, Inki. And that's why we see it as Lord of the Flowing Waters, which is his father's epitaph. All right, now that is a lot to take in. Go over it a couple times or check me out with your own research to further understand. So I want to tell you what is inscribed on this stella here. And this is translated into English. And this is what this stella is actually saying. Lord Anu, Lord of the gods who from, ev who from heaven to earth came. And Enlil, Lord of heaven and earth who determines the land's destinies, determined for Marduk, the firstborn of Inki, the Enlil functions over all mankind. And that's the end of it. So, that is the literal inscription that is on this stella. That is what is carved in in Sumerian cuneiform writing at I think the base of this stella here. So this is its description. That's the literal one that I just read to you right there. So let's talk about this a little bit. We have Lord Anu. Now who is Lord Anu? Anu is the ruler, or now this is in their words, not mine. This is what they say. Anu is the ruler of the planet Nibiru. And then we talk about this individual. And well, it's, it's stating that Lord Anu is Lord of the gods, who from heaven to earth came, and Enlil, Lord of heaven and earth, who determines the land's destinies. So we have a new character that has appeared. Enlil is Inki's half-brother. Now remember, this is Marduk and Inki both being represented right here. But we have talk of this Enlil, and as you can see, Enlil is the one who was ruler at this time of both heaven and earth. But as this decree states for us, it tells us that it has now been determined for Marduk, the firstborn of Inki, to now rule in the stead with the Enlil function. So he's taken over the Enlil duties over all mankind. And there's a reason, because remember, the gods have to leave, so they're telling us, and some of you already know where they have gone or what has happened to them. But it's significant that they are stating themselves that they have to leave and they are giving this rule unto mankind. And that's why this event is significant on this note with this orbital path, which is depicting now their return and to pick up where they have left off with this rule over mankind which is what it says here, Marduk, the firstborn of Inki, the Enlil functions over all mankind, determined for Marduk, the firstborn of Inki, the Enlil functions over all mankind. We'll talk about this further in another video. Thank you.